Today we're here to talk to Ed Flynn. Ed Flynn is the son, el hijo, the rey, now the president of the city council. Ed, uh, I just read in Spanish uh, highlights of your letter. What made you write this letter and have you ever written anything like this before? Because you, you're kind of calling out some of your colleagues. Yes, I, I wrote the letter. I felt the residents of Boston deserve to know what my opinion is as the city council president. I don't have the luxury to pick and choose what issues I want to discuss. I have to discuss and address issues on my desk, on my plate. This is one of them, unfortunately. So let's talk about your opinion. Let's talk about what you said. Everybody's talking about it in the news. I've seen it everywhere. Why did you feel like you had to write this? And what did you say again to our viewers at Laura Cafe? Just kind of give me a little synopsis of your letter. I, th I think residents from the city wanted to hear from me. And that's one of the reasons <clears throat> I spoke out as the city council president, but I basically highlighted uh, concerns I had about the alleged violations made by council Lara, including driving without a driver's license, um, revoked vehicle, not, not registered, and not having the uh, child seat in the car. I thought it was a lapse of judgment. I also know that council Lara is entitled to her day in court, but I, I do find these allegations, alleged allegations, troubling. I felt I needed to speak out about it. I also felt like I needed to speak out about the recent ethics violation agreement that Councilor Arroyo agreed to as well. Have you had you ever written anything like this before? I know how long you've been city council president because someone asked, why is he doing this now? Why? And I want to clear that up for some folks. I've been city council president a year and a half now. The term ends December 31st, so it'll be two years. But when you're the city council president, you, you have an obligation to the residents of Boston to inform the residents of what you're thinking, what your opinion is, and what you're going to do about it. Um, I let people know what my opinion is. And I'm going to let people know what I'm going to do about it. Are you asking for their resignation? Uh, what are you planning to do? I think it's important that Council Lara have her fair opportunity in court to be heard. So there is no action going to be taken by me or hopefully this body about this troubling alleged incident at this time. Having said that, I also reached out to the mayor's office property management yesterday afternoon asking them that any city councilor and city council staff and i also think city employee that parks in city garages with their own private vehicle they should have a registered uh, driver's license their car should be registered with insurance as well i didn't want to i didn't want to come forward and do this and criticize my colleagues i felt like i had to I don't get any satisfaction in doing this. I know it, it does hurt the body, but I cannot remain silent when I see something happening on the body that is troubling. Residents deserve ethical and positive leadership, and at times they're not getting it from this body. Um, any, any parting words, anything else um, that you'd like to add? Um, because this was an open letter, fue una carta abierta. Um, it's all over the news. You were pretty hard on your colleagues. My question is, are you asking for them to resign? Or, or what, are you, what are your next steps with regards to both your colleagues now? Alberto, I'm not asking them to resign. I'm asking that we work together as colleagues. We treat each other with respect and dignity. We also do that with our constituents across our districts, but also across the city. Boston deserves positive ethical leadership. I'm asking my colleagues to provide that to their constituents. I also want to, I should have said it at the beginning, I'm glad that no one was hurt in this incident, seriously hurt, I should say. Yeah. Um, especially Council Lara and, and her son weren't seriously hurt, but others as well, no passengers or bystanders or or the homeowner. But what I want to do is to make sure that we work hard for all of the residents in this city. We do our job. There's nothing glamorous about being a district city councilor. It's constituent services, it's neighborhood services, it's returning phone calls, emails. It's about quality of life of the residents and it's a hard job. But residents demand and expect neighborhood services from district councilors. And at times they're not getting it 
because of these distractions. I wonder if your office has heard from Latino constituents in this issue. Have you heard from the uh, Latino constituents across the city, not just from your district, but speaking up either for or against Councilor Arroyo or Councilor uh, Lara in either of this, um, in their situation? I have had the opportunity to hear from people in my district, which includes the South End, a large Latino community, and throughout the city, I have two young women on my staff that are from the Dominican Republic that speak Spanish fluently. So we did receive a lot of calls. We had calls in support of both Councilor Arroyo and Councilor Lara that I should not have weighed in on this issue. And I should have given them the opportunity to have their fair day in court before I spoke out. And I understand that criticism and I, I accept that. I also had um, other Latino people, residents that thought that my comments were accurate, fair, and honest. So I think it was it was both. I, I do understand that they, they are two Latino members of the community of the city council. I, I'm trying to treat them with respect and give them a fair opportunity to have their day in court as well. I don't want to prejudge them. I don't want to go out of my way to hurt anybody, but I do feel like I have an obligation to answer questions from the media and to talk directly to the residents about my opinion as the city council president. Well, Ed, thank you for again for, for stopping by today in La Hora del Café. So I know you've got a busy day and I imagine all other media outlets are waiting. But we were first. La Hora del Café was first this morning in having uh, Ed Flynn uh, directly speak to the community. Gracias, uh, gracias, Ed. It's good to be with you, Alberto. Thank you. Next time you got to do it in Spanish, okay? <laughs> I will. I, will. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> good try. Good try. Good, good answer. Good answer. Like they say in Bye -bye. Family Feud. Okay. Thank you, Ed.